in this video we are going to see how to load uh, data from s3 bucket to redshift and uh, start analyzing the data so let's say if you have some data which is sitting in uh, s3 bucket and you want to run some queries on it and analyze the data so you can quickly load that data from s3 into redshift and uh, start querying the data so let's see how to do that so firstly i'll go to like i mean i'll show the file that i'm going to use so this is the file like i mean this there is some sample employee data that i have so i'm going to upload this into redshift and uh, show you how to do that okay so the first thing is i have uploaded this file into my s3 bucket okay so if you see here i have my employee data.csv and i'm going to load this csv file into redshift table okay so in our redshift console i'm just going to use redshift serverless here so you can also use redshift provision cluster as well okay so in redshift serverless i'm going to use my default namespace so if you um don't have idea about like i mean how to set up your redshift serverless and cre create your namespace and etc i have explained that in my previous video so please check it out so if you have the redshift serverless setup you can go ahead and uh, create that table okay so before you create the table so you need to do one thing so since you we are loading the data from s3 into redshift redshift needs to have permission to basically read that uh, data so uh, for that we will need to attach an iam role to redshift serverless like i mean for this namespace uh, and uh, use that iam role to create the table okay so here in uh, like i mean default namespace i'm going to click on security and encryption and here i'm going to select manage iam roles okay so here uh, under manage iam roles i'm going to click on this manage iam roles and click on create iam role okay so here uh, it will be like by default attach all those uh, permissions which are needed for like running the queries and etc but you need to specify like i mean uh, if you need to give access to any additional s3 buckets you need to specify here so i'm going to select any s3 bucket you can like i mean select this as well specific s3 bucket and give access to only that bucket okay uh, but if you do this it redshift will have access to all your s3 buckets in your account okay uh, i'm going to select any s3 bucket and click on create iam role as default okay so now this iam role will be created and uh, will be used as a default iam role when you are running queries and you know doing anything okay so now that we have added this iam role let's uh, go back to redshift serverless and uh, still updating the namespace okay i'm going to click on default namespace here and click on the query data it will take you to the query editor console okay so once you are in this console you will be logged in like i mean i'm using serverless here so if you have any provision clusters that will also be displayed here okay so now we need to load that uh, employee.csv file and create a table in our redshift for that uh, data so here click on load data and select this load from s3 bucket since we are uploading the data from s3 bucket and click on browse s3 here and select the file okay so this is the file that i'm going to upload so i'll choose that file and uh, rest everything i'm going to leave it uh, as default so since this is csv file you can select csv so it also supports other uh, formats like json avro parquet orc and all those formats so since mine is csv i'm just going to leave it as it is and uh, no compression file options and all so basically these are all uh, if your data is encrypted you can just select that and uh, you can give the ARN for your AMS, I mean KMS key. Okay, so since I don't have the file encrypted, I'm going to leave it as it is. So my delimiter is comma, like I had shown you in this file. Okay, and this is basically ignore header rows. So since our first row is a header, it will consider that uh, as a header and not as a data. So so I'm going to give like I mean one row as header row, and uh, all these are like I mean advanced settings which are basically uh, not required for us for this case okay and let me click on next here so here we have two options load existing table or load new table so if you have the table already created you can select the table and load the data into that table 
So since we don't have the table created, we are going to select this load new table. And what Redshift will do is Redshift will automatically read this data and infer the schema for us. So if you see it will like, I mean, it basically uh, infer the schema for us. Okay. So yeah, this is what, how it is. So if you need to do any, like, I mean, uh, modifications, you can of course uh, do that here. Okay. So if you need to do any uh, like changes to the data type or anything, you can do that over here. Okay. So you can also set like, I mean, what is a primary key? So you can select a column and set it as primary key or unique key, not null. So yeah, I mean, these are all the, I mean, options that you will get uh, while automatically creating a table. Okay. So I'm just going to leave everything as default because this is a simple table. I just want to show you how to create a table. Okay. And here we need to select the IAM role that we created in the previous step. Okay. So to select that, like if you see here, like, I mean, the M roles that we created. So this is the one that we created now, which had like access to all the S3 buckets. So the one which ends with six to six. So I'm going to select that IAM role. Okay. Since that has access to all the S3 buckets. Okay. So, and then, yeah, once this is done here, we need to select like, I mean, in which database and which schema we need to create. So I'm going to create in dev database. I'm going to create in public schema only, and let's call it as employee data table. Okay. So yeah, once all this are done, we'll click on create table. And it says that table is created successfully. Now we need to click on load data so that, I mean, Redshift will load the data from S3 into Redshift. So this, basically this is the query it runs to load the data from, you know, uh, the S3 bucket into table. Okay, this is basically the Redshift copy command. Okay, so if you see here the output, it says load into table employee data completed 3000 rows loaded successfully. So now let's try to query that table and see how the data is loaded. So let's start from the, this is the table name. Yep, I'm going to run this. And show you how the data. So yep, if you see this is how the data looks. In the redshift so yep that's basically a simple uh, demo to show you how to load your csv file which is sitting in s3 directly to um, redshift and start querying the data and stuff like this so you can run i mean any queries that you uh, would like to on this data and you know analyze your data yep so that was a short demo and i hope you found it helpful thank you and i'll see you in the next video